All quiet on the set. Brass RPG Devlog, Episode 1, Take 1. Action. Welcome to the first ever devlog for Brass RPG. Brass RPG is a work in progress steampunk action RPG in Minecraft. Through this series of developer logs I will be showing off the process of turning a mere google doc and some crappy pixel art into hopefully a fully fledged RPG experience in Minecraft. Hang on dude, why are you calling it a devlog when you're just messing with plugin convigs in Minecraft man? Honestly, I don't know. I just think devlog has a good ring to it. What do you want me to say? Like, configure log? Whatever. Let's just get into the first log. So the core idea is to be able to create a hub-based ARPG in Minecraft. This means that the player will start off in a central area with everything the players will need like shops, NPC quest givers, crafting areas, and anything else we might add in the future. From there, the players will be able to navigate to different areas to fight mobs, gather materials, complete quest objectives, and explore. Right now the concept is that the world is fragmented into different floating islands and you have to take an airship to get from place to place. Yeah, okay, okay, that sounds cool or whatever, but can we like hurry up and get started? Right, so we have the overall concept of where we want to end up, but first we need to spend a lot of time building up a solid infrastructure. The first thing I did was jot down a few ideas into a Google Doc, and then I went about making the first custom weapon design. Hang on there, bro. Custom weapon? I thought we were playing Minecraft. Yes, we are, but as most of you probably already know, Minecraft is a very versatile tool. We're able to link a resource pack to the server that will allow players to see the new designs we want them to see when holding a sword. Say we wanted to make it a lance. This very booby 2D lance, to be precise. This 2D lance was actually the first step in this whole process. It was the first thing I made. So, it didn't look very good, so the next thing I tried to do was to figure out how to make a working 3D model and get it into the resource pack. I found a nice program called Blockbench that allows me to make the model very easily and auto-export the script or whatever into the pack. And this was the end result. It might not look like much to all of you, but I was over the moon with how it turned out, and it really inspired me to keep going. Before you know it, we now actually have 6 models to play around with and more to come. So, on the note of working with weapons, I needed to figure out classes and combat gameplay. Right now I've divided it into three different classes that are more like archetypes, fighter, marksman, and engineer. Each archetype has three different classes or subclasses that focus on one weapon, and each weapon has three different modules that can affect the right click ability of it. For example, the Steam Lances class would be under the fighter archetype and have the subclass named something like a Steam Knight, and you can use any Steam Lance you find. The current planned modules for the Steam Lance are a vault, a spin, and a backstep, and on this sample right here we have the vault. Uh, enough about planning, I wanna see some content. Alright, okay, so now on to present day and the actual progress report for this video, I've gone ahead and loaded a few of the weapons as a quick rough draft into this really cool plugin called MMO Items. For real guys, this plugin is pretty legit and we're probably not even gonna end up needing to use all these features. So let me actually just run you through all the mockups real quick. Breaker Axe has a nice charge on it. <laughs> the rune hammer is a real slammer. The valve staff is looking extra spicy. The robotic arm shoots a little bomb out. And finally, the chakram is actually our subject for focus today. So the shock room was an okay idea, but maybe I was just playing too much Aphelios, because after doing the mock-up, I didn't really vibe with the concept or model, so today we're going to make a new third weapon for the engineer archetype. The overall idea of the engineer was to use it to add any other miscellaneous RPG elements I wanted in the game other than just melee and ranged combat. The Valve Staff does a good job of this by being a pseudo-mage, and the robotic arm is already a really good embodiment of what a steampunk engineer would be like. I wanted to keep the style of the Chakram being semi-ranged, so I needed to think of a Marksman hybrid type weapon. The Chakram was supposed to be a giant gear that would launch projectiles, so in a similar vein, I settled on making a gear cannon or gear launcher type weapon. This style is actually pretty common in a lot of Eastern MMOs I've played. So I jumped into Blockbench and I made a very rough draft model. I'm okay with how this model turned out, but it definitely needs way more detail and the barrel could be a bit wider, the handles look weird, all that stuff. I just wanted to get a general idea of how it would look before I sank time into modeling it fully. 
The next step was getting the model onto the server and put it on a working MMO item so it'd be on par with the other drafted weapons at least. However, unlike something like an axe or a hammer, MMO items doesn't have a built-in item class for launchers that I can mess around with easily. Luckily, MMO items lets us create our own weapon types and we can even import custom skills from another plugin called Mythic Mobs to make it do what we want. So then I just went into Mythic Mobs and slapped together a few skills that can work as a standard gear launcher left click attack and a nice right click ability that shoots three arcing bombs as the module and and BAM! The rough draft for the gear launcher is done, and I think it turned out pretty good. Oh, and I retextured the Minecraft snowballs into little gears, in case you're wondering what it's shooting out. And that's about all I have so far. I'm really excited about this project, and I hope I can update you all more in the future. Up next on my to-do list is actually finishing the models and rough draft items for all the marksman weapons. That's the rifle, the laser gun, and the crossbow. And then I might actually go into some of the Minecraft buildings that I'm going to be doing, because all the custom block textures you saw throughout this video were also made by me in attempts to have a more steampunky block palette to use when building the world. So, thank you for watching. If you want to continue to follow the development of this project, make sure to subscribe to this channel, because I'll be posting everything brass RPG related here. Stay tuned! God, 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 wow, that was all horrible. I cannot believe they hired this guy to play the developer.